Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the AJ Allmendinger 2021 Ramco Mid-Ohio Xfinity Race Win in 124 scale produced by Lionel Racing. Now this is the autographed version that I picked up from Cog Racing's official online store. If it is still available at the time of recording of this review, I'll link it in the video description below. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. It does come in the 2021 Xfinity Series Race Win box featuring Series logo, checkered flag background. Bottom left here we have 124 scale stock car limited edition dot collectible. Bottom right we got the race version logo as well as Race Win sticker. The side of the box here features 2021 Race Winner with the artist render, Lionel branding on the bottom. This side of the box here features the NASCAR hologram QR code Xfinity Series logo and year. Back of the box, pretty much the same as the top. This end of the box here has the production sticker that says AJ Ominger, number 16, Ramco Specialties, Mid Ohio Win, 2021 Camaro, autograph, one of 150 produced. Bottom of the box here features all your relevant legal information. All right, moving on to the stat card that it comes with. Here you go. If you'd like to read that, feel free to pause the video. There's the front of it and the back of the stat card. Being that it is race win, you also get your red Xfinity Series race win sticker. There you go. Looking good in red. And being that this is an autograph version, you get a certificate of authenticity. Just certifying that it's AJ Allmendinger's authentic autograph. Alright, let's go ahead and take a more detailed look at the diecast itself. Starting off here on the window banner, we do have Xfinity and Allmendinger. The gray part there that goes vertically up the windshield there is the windshield wiper could use a little more detail instead of just gray you have AJ Amendinger's autograph going across the front windshield and at the base of the window we have these five star race car bodies logo because they are the supplier of the polycarbonate front windows on the hood here we have Ramco Specialties Inc as well as the silver painted uh, hood pins with black tape holding those down you can see a lot of speckling of tire rubber dirt and grime going down the hood there as well as the front bumper, you got Chevrolet Camaro, number 16, Colleg Racing. Got the red Xfinity Series front splitter. Actually, just part of this paint scheme, this was not a playoff race. So that's just part of the livery of the car. Got more tire rubber and speckling of dirt and grime going down the front of the bumper there. Got Sunoco, Goodyear above the front tires. Got some scrapes and everything around the front fender and... Really nice detail on the tires. Got some gray, what is supposed to be brake dust. Now being that this is an Xfinity die, Xfinity die cast, it does not have working steering. But there's your real entire detail. Once again, got some shading and everything around the fender for damage and dirt and grime. Got Xfinity Series Mobile One ARP right there on the front fender with NASCAR race car on the A post. Got the Ramco Ram right in front of the number 16 on the door. Ramco on the side, of course, Cog Industries and Ellsworth right there in front of the rear tires. Hyper Ice on the quarter panel as well as the American Ethanol fuel ring. Got some fuel spillage right here. Some more dirt and grime on the quarter panel. Got the simulated uh, door handle above the six there. You can see just dirt and grime and rubber throughout the entire car. Got the plastic window net. Up on the roof we have number 16. There's the TV camera with leaf filter, I believe. Little logos in front of it. Of course, RamcoSpecialties.com. No opening roof flaps. Got AJ Allmendinger and a race wind sticker on the roof rail. On the B post here, we have Colleg Racing Chevrolet and other Colleg Racing logos. Leaf filter on the C post. Allmendinger here back on the rear window with serial number 6 of the 150. Ramco on the deck lid. Back here on the rear TV panel, we have the Chevrolet logo, simulated tail lights, TV camera, Ramco Specialties Inc. 16. Got the little tow strap thing right above the uh, quad exhaust, right to the left top of the Camaro logo there. Right side of the car has the most damage. You got the honeycomb pattern for the body panels right there. Hyper Ice is pretty much non legible. Got a lot of tire marks and everything. It is really cool that. Being that the body panels of the Xfinity series are made in a way where there's like a honeycomb pattern, that Lionel was able to replicate all that. Ramco looks pretty clean except for a little tire marks below the M. The right rear here is pretty much 
obliterated with uh, no Goodyear on it. Uh, donut right there on Ellsworth and Call Companies. The exhaust burn marks right there. Some donut marks on the side skirt and on the Ram logo. Interior, nothing too special. Got the fire extinguishers and everything. Some more markings around the front fender. This tire looks a little better than the right rear. Of course, there's another honeycomb detail you can see right in front of the uh, front tire there on the fender. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get this hood open for you. Got to pop it open from the underside of the car. The gap lines on these cars are no joke. All right. Here's the engine detail. It's really not too much to write about, so at least they put an engine there. Got Chevrolet on the underside of the hood. Bottom of the car is just a plastic chassis. As I mentioned, no working steering, nothing like that. So overall, it's a solid release, an awesome new addition to the collection. That is my review of AJ Allmendinger's 2021 autographed Ramco Mid-Ohio Xfinity Race win in 124 scale by Lionel Racing. Once again, I picked this up over at Call Racing's official online store. If it is still available, I will put a link in the video description so you can add it to your collection. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrange69. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.